Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the Daily Challenge for June 23rd, 2024. The character at the Ironclad and the Mud Farsa Shiny. Starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. Control Chaos starts with Frozen Eye. At the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the bottom of your draw pile. And Terminal, whenever you enter in your room, lose 1 max HP. Start each combat with 5 plated armor. Shiny uh, decks are usually a lot of fun. Um, so I see Vorpal here with 1408. That's a really good score. Um, yeah, let's just get started and see how I can do. So obviously with the shiny deck, let's review it real quick. Um, feed is something I want to play as much as possible. Offering is going to be very useful. Defensively, I just have Barricade and Impervious. So I will look forward to picking up some more defensive cards if I can. Uh, there are two two leads, or actually multiple two lead paths. If I go towards the lead on the left, I'll get one two early question mark rooms and then another three four. If I go to, on, to the one on the right, I'll get three, and then turning left gives me five question mark rooms, turning right gives me four. Yeah, so I think I'll go left, and then turn, uh, sorry, right, and then turn left, right. Okay. All right, so uh, I, uh, the problem is, unless I can kill immediately, there's no way for me to use the feed here, is there? Do I have a headbutt coming up? I think, well, actually, no, I have an exhume coming up, right? Yeah, yeah, so let me feed here. I don't want to emulate will kill, but I do want to use the feed as much as I can. So, yeah, I think I'll just do feed. And then I'll accept the damage, mostly because I should be able to heal back up. But I do want to use the feed as much as possible. Um, bludgeon kills one of them. Uh, let's do that. All right. And then I'll wait for the exhume, which should show up. I don't think I'll do... Uh, do I want to do offering? No, I think I'll do reaper. Yeah, heal back up a little. Okay. All right. And then here I should be able to exhume the feed and then kill with it. Good. The feed might be the first thing I should get upgraded to. Thunderclap, Silver Soul, Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace is really good for this deck. Yeah, especially with Control Chaos, it will allow me to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, let's definitely take it. I might even consider upgrading that first before the feed. Because the problem with the feed is that if I don't use it early, it's going to be really hard to use later on. So, for example, here... Uh, so if I get offering played, I don't think I can deal enough damage for the feed for to be able to feed and exhume the feed again. Uh, what if I do feed fire? That might be better. Yeah, let's do feed fire here. Okay, again, I'll take a bunch of damage. But now I should be able to feed and then exhume the feed again next turn, right? Uh, no, Reaper m messes that up, right? Because I can't deal a little bit of damage to deal. Oh, boy. Uh, what if I do demon form? Yeah, I think that might work, right? It would give me two strength. Okay, let's do Offering. Then Demon Form. I can do Impervious. Okay. And then I think with the extra strength, I should be able to play... Yeah, Feed, Exhume the Feed. Beautiful. All right. Okay, 87 match. Actually, we got, uh, we got an Attack Push, an Uppercut, a Rupture, or Twin Strike. Uh, I only take damage from the Offering so far, so I don't think Rupture is useful. Between Uppercut and Twin Strike... Yeah, not a huge fight. Let's take the uppercut for the weakness. Who's my final boss, by the way? Slime boss. Okay, yeah, I think that should be fairly straightforward. Here I got a golden idol. Enemy store 25% more gold in exchange for my first curse, the injury curse. Okay. And then cultist here. Uh, let's check. Fetus coming up later. Um, I guess I can do offering. I can also do reaper. Yeah, there's the exude, which is fine. Uh, let me do corruption and then double tap the reaper. Okay. All right. Actually, anything I need to exhume? I could exhume the offering again if I really wanted to. Bludgeon would be pretty good, actually. 32 plus another... Uh, only 10 from the feed, right? Yeah, the feed is not upgraded, which is annoying. Uppercut would be too much. What if I do emulate? Yeah, I think let's next turn do emulate and then turn after... Uh, no, I should, I should draw cards. Uh, let's exhume the offering. Play that. And then uh, I think this is fine. I can even do Berserk, all right? So I'll take 9 damage next turn, which is fine. Okay, so here... Wait, how did I want to do this? Uh, the emulate alone was not enough, right? I wanted to do uppercut as well. But I can't do... No, I have the energy. Let's do emulate and then uppercut. Okay, this way next turn I have the feed and that should be enough to kill. Good. Alright. Yeah, okay. 88 max HP, which is nice. We got a dex potion, pummel, carnage, or headbutt. Headbutt might be useful to get some useful cards back. Let's take that. And then here I lose HP for gold. And here, I think I'll upgrade the... F uh, this is so tempting. Because the problem is, it's going to be... Even with the feed, it's going to be really hard to get enough max HP with Terminal. I'm losing max HP every every floor. And once the game gets a little harder, it's going to be really hard to trigger the max the, the feed on the right turns. But still, I think I should get that upgraded first. 
The other options, I mean, there were lots of great uh, powers I could have upgraded, but fine. Here I got Berserker Juggernaut upgraded, which is uh, also fine. Not very useful. This is actually really nice because I can play some of my powers first. Let's do Berserker Barricade. Okay. I don't think I'll uh, focus on using the field. That's going to be too difficult here. Uh, here I probably want to do... What is the offering going to give me? Dark Embrace is totally worth it. Yeah, I think I'll do Corruption Offering and then play the Dark Embrace. Actually, I could have do I could play the feed here. No, let's just do Dark Embrace here. All right. Uh, anything I need to headbutt? No, that that'll wake up the enemy, right? So let's not do that. Actually, I could have headbutted the uh, Impervious. Actually, that might have been a good idea. All right. So here I could double tap the emulate. All right. And then let me see what the limit break gives me. Okay, Juggernaut is fine. Let's also do Brutality. All right. Okay, so Fully Defended next turn. I think I'll do Fiend Fire here, right? Uh, yeah, let's do Bloodletting first, then Thunderclap. And then Fiend Fire, see what I'd get. And uh, I already... Wait, did I play the Fiend or did I exhaust it? Uh, no, I. it's in my discard pile, right? So if I have a Headbutt coming up, there is a Headbutt coming up next turn. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I'd be able to kill... Well, I'm, I'm guaranteed to kill soon, right? Let me see. Uh... Let's do... Wait. I do need to deal a little bit more damage because the headbutt alone is not going to be enough, right? 18. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, now once I get the... Oh, I almost forgot about the uh, the Juggernaut. Oh, no, then I can't headbutt without killing. Eh, I messed up. I messed up. All right, fine, fine. Could have used the feed here, but I messed up. We got Red Skull. While your HP is out of below 50%, you have three additional strength, which is really nice. Searing Blow, Havoc, or Burning Pact. Havoc is interesting because I know what it'll play. I think I'll take it, yeah. And then here I got Shuriken. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. And then I'm going left to get two more question mark rooms, right? At this rest site, I think I'll upgrade uh, Barricade, Impervious, Corruption. They're all good upgrades. Let's upgrade the... I'm hoping to get Sneko. So let's upgrade the Impervious first. Okay. Yeah, if I get Sneko, then, uh, you know, I wouldn't have needed to upgrade the Corruption and the Barricade. Alright, 10 incoming here. I mean, I could fully defend if I played the Juggernaut, but... Do I want to? I could also double tap the Reaper. Yeah, that works. I also want to lose HP, right, to uh, trigger the Red Skull. So I'm, I'm okay losing a little bit of HP at least. All right, where is the feed? Um, it is going to take a little bit. This will deal 28 damage. I think I'll do that. Okay. Could have played Havoc. That way I would have grabbed the feed later. But again, I do want to... Oh, I'm not being attacked. I was going to say I do want to lose HP. Uh, fine, fine. I sh Oh, no. Next turn the enemy has block. I missed that. So the feed alone is not going to be enough to have a little bit. Actually, I do have an Iron Wave coming up. Uh, so Iron Wave is uh, 8 plus 15. That is enough. Okay, good. All right. We got a Strength Push, which is nice. Clash, Perfected Strike, Wild Strike. I don't think I need any of the Perfected Strikes. Uh, between Clash and Wild Strike, I'm not a huge fan, but let's take the Wild Strike. All right. And then here I got the Grumman Knob. Ooh, not the best attack. Havoc will play Juggernaut. Might as well, because I don't really have anything better to play. Let's Havoc the Juggernaut, then do Berserk. And then might as well do Reaper, I guess. Okay. Not a good start at all. All right, 14. There is an Impervious. Can I get a Barricade? No, but there's also a Fiendfire. All right, let's do Offering. Anything I need to headbutt. Um, kind of want to do Dark Embrace as well. Can I kill here? Uh, if I draw a full hand next turn, I could exhume the offering again, which would then not really give me anything useful. Uh, but I have another impervious coming up, so I think... Actually, do I need to headbutt something? Havoc? No, no, no. Uh, I think what I'll do here is I will do emulate fiend fire. That will draw me five cards, including the exhume. That will give me the offering, which only doesn't get... Actually, does not get me to impervious. So how about I'll just do fiend fire here? Okay. Uh, wait. Did I? Uh, I thought I had the Dark Embrace Plate. Well, that was a mistake. For some reason, I thought I had the Dark Embrace Plate, in which case I thought I would draw a full hand. Uh, if I can't have that, obviously I'll play the Impervious. Yeah, sorry. That, that was a complete misplay on my part. Uh, let's try this one more time. All right, so here I think I will still do, still do the Offering. Oh, yeah, there's the Dark Embrace. I needed to play that too. Okay. So now I will exhaust five cards. Exhume gets me the offering. Yeah, that's not enough. All right. So then uh, I have to do Impervious, and then I can still do Fiendfire. Or should I do Emulate? No, Fiendfire is more damage, right? The 35 versus 21 from the Emulate. All right. 
Okay, and unfortunately I can't play anything here, but that's fine. I do have another Impervious next turn. Yep. Actually, I have two Imperviouses. Didn't realize that. All right, let's do one of them. Might as well do Metallus. Oh, Emulate is enough to kill. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. We got Oracalcum if you enter turn without blocking six block, as well as an Explosive Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Headbutt, Rampage, Body Slam. Obviously, well, hang on. I was going to say, obviously, I'll go for the Highland Modifier, but there's no reason to, right? I could go for Collector Bonuses, because if I go for Highland, I will have to reject every, every rare card I'll get offered. Ooh, uh, there's no reason not to go for collective bonuses, right? Yeah, let's take another headbutt. Let's sort A to Z. And then hopefully I'll get a, a lot of good uh, duplicates offered, including curses, ideally. Transform a card. There's honestly nothing I want to transform here. I appreciate all of these cards. Maybe the demon form, although that might allow me to get overkill. So maybe the reaper. Yeah, let's transform the reaper mostly because I do want to trigger a red skull. I don't think I'll need to heal as... Uh, as often as I will with the Reaper. Yeah, Shockwave is, is, I think, a worthy trade. All right, Slaver. Let me see if I can use the feed here, which is uh, yeah, coming up in some time, not very soon. Uh, I think I'll just do feed fire here again, right? Okay. Could have considered Havoc. Havoc would have played a headbutt. Yeah, probably not necessary. Would have dealt extra damage, I guess. Uh, here, uh, if I do Wild Strike, then the feed would be enough, but it will take me two turns to get to it, which is fine. Yeah, let's just do Wild Strike. And wait, come. All right. And then here I will do Berserk to take some damage. I do want to trigger that Red Skull at some point. Okay. And then here I can kill with the feed. Beautiful. All right. Uh, body Slam, Metallicize, or Super Boomerang. Metallicize seems like a good idea. I don't think I need Body Slam or Super Boomerang. Let's take the Metallicize. Come. And then here I'll upgrade probably the Offering next. Yep. The extra card draw is going to be very useful. Come. All right, Slime Boss. I think I can get by without my uh, potions, right? Next turn, I have Double Tap Emulate, which should be plenty. Let's do Dark Embrace, Berserk, and Metallicize. Okay. All right. And then here, so Emulate twice is 42. What about the turn after? I do have a Bludgeon. Yeah, I think I should be fine. Let's Double Tap the Emulate. And then I can even play a Feed here. Uh, let's do Brutality as well. Why not? Okay. Alright, and then here I have the bludgeon. It's honestly not as much damage as I hoped it would be. Um, but yeah, wait, what is Havoc? Ooh, actually, wait, can I do bludgeon, headbutt? No, I was trying to figure out a way to play something amazing with the Havoc. Uh, I can headbutt the... No, no, I don't have enough energy, which is fine. Actually, wait, can I headbutt... If I do Shockwave, then headbutt the Emulate, and then Havoc that? Is that better? Ah, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, let's just do... Uh, here, let's do bludgeon... And then headbutt, and I'll headbutt back the uh, bludgeon again. And the next turn I have a feed fire as well, which should help. Right, 16 and coming. Yeah, let's do offering here. And then I can do bludgeon, fiend fire, the backliner. That should be enough to kill, and I just need a little bit of damage to kill this one. Ooh, actually, no, headbutt kills, right? I was hoping to maybe uh, get a feedback. It's fine, it's fine. All right. Okay, so far so good. I got a Flex Potion, which I don't think I'll take. If I'm going for Collective Bonuses, I should take one of these. Uh, honestly, yeah, I guess I'll take the Bludgeon. Oh, I really would like Sneko. Nope. I think I'll take the Black Star instead. At least I'm just sure I'm going to feed it. That should be fine. I don't think I need energy that badly. I think I'd rather have more, uh, a better chance of getting the I like Shiny modifier. All right, one, two, three. There's a three lead path on the left and only two leads on the right. Let's take the three lead path with a total of five question mark rooms. Okay. So I had five on Act 1, uh, five on Act 2, so I just need five more on Act 3. Uh, let's do Dark Embrace Offering. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, there's a feed there, which I can't use. I think I'll do Corruption, then play the Impervious and Shockwave. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to use the feed every single time, right? Um, I think I can exhume the Offering. Should I do Bludgeon first? No, let me exhume the Offering first. Okay. Oh, there's Fiendfire too, which is tempting. Uh, actually, I can double tap the bludgeon. All right. And yeah, that's enough to kill. Beautiful. Got a weakness potion. I don't think I'll take Thunderclap, Warcry, Rupture. Again, I still don't think I need Rupture. Between Thunderclap and Warcry, Warcry is not super useful. I guess with the Dark Base, it's just free card draw. I think Thunderclap might be a little better. Okay. And then here, I think I'll take the Special Relic, Major Strength, Strength, Starge Cone, 3 Strength at the end of your first turn, loot 3 Strength again. Okay. Yeah, I, I, transforming would have been interesting. I just wouldn't know what to transform, right? All right, 10 incoming. Um, I think I'll just do Juggernaut and Metallicize with the Oracle to my amp for the end of this turn. All right. Uh-huh. 
Can I use feet here? Ah, there it is. Unfortunate. Do I have an exhum? I do have an exhum, so I think I'll try to fiend fire and then feed later. Um, so let's do let's fiend fire the anything I need to headbutt. No, I think I'll just fiend fire the back liner. Let's do that. Okay. And I have to make sure oh the juggernaut might kill accidentally, right? Uh, that might be tough. Okay. Uh, Exhum is coming up in two turns, so uh, I think I'll just accept the damage here. Let's apply weakness with the shockwave. Okay, one down. All right. Actually, I haven't lost any HP, which is kind of nice. And then here I'll wait. And yeah, I forgot the juggernaut was killing everything. That's fine. Monster strike flex or hemokinesis. Let's take the hemokinesis. Not a bad idea. I'm a little heavy with offensive cards. Maybe I should take more defensive cards. Transform a card. That's another transformation event. And again, honestly, I don't know what to transform anymore. I'm very happy with my cards so far. Yeah, if only I had used the demon form already to get overkill. Um, I think I'll wait. Limit break? Maybe I can transform that. Although once I trigger the red skull, I, I will need it. No, let's leave this event. I, I can't think of anything to transform. And you want here? Let me get overkill and lose a bunch of HP, right? So let's do demon form, berserk, and brutality. And I think that should guarantee that I'll lose a lot of HP. Uh, I'm able to trigger red skull the turn after and also hopefully get overkill at some point. All right. Um, I think because of that, it'll be a little boring. So I'll speed this up and I'll be right back hopefully with, uh, well, being ready to play overkill. All right, so a few things happened here. First of all, I'm pretty sure I got combo. There's a turn where I kept getting offerings with the um, uh, from the Control Chaos cards, and uh, I think I played 20 cards. I counted exactly 20. Hopefully, I didn't miscount. And then, yeah, here I have 57 strength already. I can do Shockwave and then Heavy Blade for 277 damage. All right, so that, I think that was a successful turn, and I lost a lot of HP, so Red Skull will be active, which is nice. Pummel Body Slammer Clash uh, with the extra strength. Pummel is actually really nice. And also Exhaust. I don't think I need the other two as badly, so let's take it. Right, so the extra strength hopefully will be very useful. Unfortunately, I'm being attacked by everybody here, and there's nothing I can do about that, right? Absolutely nothing, unless I can magically kill, which... Uh, nope, nope, nope. So I can, if, even if I pl apply weakness, that's still 12 incoming. I guess I only have 11 with our Calcum and the plated armor, right? And that assumes I can somehow magically kill everything else. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right, in that case, let's just do emulate. I could have done Thunderclap first. That would have been... Well, that would have dealt more damage, but yeah. Yeah, who needs to lose HP if you can't perfect things, right? Um, all right, so here, Havoc will play Hemokinesis, which I don't think I'll take, uh, or I'll need. I think I can just do Bludgeon instead, all right? Okay. And then here, I have 13 incoming. There is a feed, which is going to be really hard to use. Um, wait, if I double tap, so hang on. 36, uh, 40, 51... Uh, 63. I'm actually not that far off uh, from being able to kill the backliner. Uh, if I get a good... I know Warwind is not that great. Let's take the Pummel Strike here. I think now I should have enough, right? So if I double tap the Hemokinesis... Okay. And then do Pummel Strike. Uh, yeah, that is enough. I can do... Oh no, I don't have energy to play both uh, Headbutt and the Feed. Oh, I miscalculated. Alright, fine. Let's do... Let's feed on you. And then, uh, who knows, maybe I'll get, uh, yeah, the offering is not going to come. Actually, there's a Darker Brace and Limit Break. All right, yeah, let's do Berserk here. I'll take a little bit extra damage, but I think that should allow me to kill next turn. Uh, a little unfortunate that I had the bad luck on turn one. But yeah, here I can do Darker Embrace, Limit Break. Okay, then Offering. All right. And then there is an Exhume that I can use to get a Feedback. Uh, but can I kill with it, actually? Uh, no, well, hang on, I have Wild Strike here. Okay, and then if I exhume the feed, yep, I should be able to feed. Okay, good. All right, annoying I wasn't able to perfect, but fine. Uh, we got strawberry up and pick our race from HP by 7, as well as Omori, you get the next curse to obtain. I actually am trying to get to go for curse, so I'll skip the Omori. Heavy Blade, Cleaver, and Flame. Sometimes I do have a lot of strength, so... Uh, Cleave would be interesting because I barely have AoE damage uh, cards other than the Emulate. I think Cleave might be a little better. Heavy Blade, if if I don't have Demon Form active, it only I only have the three uh, three strength from Red Skull, so I'm not sure if it's super worth it. Uh, here, I think I'll do Shock Wave and Metallicize. Okay. All right. And then 11 incoming. Ugh, limit Break is expensive. I can double play the Pummel or Fiend Fire. Uh, no, let's double play the Pummel and then Fiend Fire. Okay. 
All right. Actually, that's almost enough to kill, right? So I think I should be ready to draw and kill with the feet once I draw it. Uh, yeah, there's one next turn. It's only 460 damage, though, and the vulnerability is going to wear off very soon. I think what I'll do is I'll Havoc the um, uh, the Exhume, which brings back the Shockwave, which means that next turn the uh, enemy will be vulnerable, which means I should have enough to kill with the feed. I hope I didn't miscalculate that. No, I didn't. Beautiful. All right. We got a Duplication Potion, which is... Uh, Probably better than some of this. Let's get it over the Dex Potion. Ghostly Armor Dropkick Headbutt. I think I'll take a defensive card. Although I could have taken another... Oh, should I have taken another Headbutt? I forgot that I already have two. If I'm going for collective bonuses... Yeah, I think I, I got too distracted by the fact that I need a defensive card. But I think if my strategy is collective bonuses, I should definitely take a Headbutt here. Uh, let me do this again. So Duplication Potion and the Headbutt. Okay, good. All right, uh, I'm probably okay losing the skill potion, right? I don't want to use fiend, lose fiend fire or the many the much gold I have, so let's uh, lose the skill potion to get Vaja. So I just come with one strength, okay? And then going left for two more elites. Okay, I got potion belt. I'm gonna pick up, gain two potion slots, okay? And then slavers. This one might be difficult too. Start up with pummel for 45 damage. That's pretty nice, but again, I don't have anything to defend against. Yeah, I need to kill two of them, right? I do have a... Wait, if I drink the Strength Potion, it'll be 55. So that'll kill one. And then this will be 21 times 2, which is 42. I guess I can duplicate it again. Uh, I I mean, how much do I want to sacrifice? Yeah, fine. Let's try this. So let's drink the Strength Potion. Kill the Backliner with the Pummel. All right. And then I'll double tap the Wild Strike. And then also play the Duplication Potion. That should play it three times. Okay. All right. So now I'm fully defended. Actually, I'm fully defended forever, right? Yeah, so, wait, can I use the feed here? It is coming up, yeah, somewhat soon. Okay, let's deal some damage, use it. Let's do um, Uppercut and then Hemokinesis. Okay, and now I'm just waiting for the feed to show up, yeah. All right, all right, I was able to perfect this one. Had to use all my potions, though, and I really hope I don't need those potions to perfect the boss fight, because uh, who's my boss, by the way? Collector, okay, that one. At least I don't get attacked on turn one, but uh, turn two is going to be the problem, right? I need to basically make sure I get my power set up quickly. All right, at least I got my HP out of this. We got Dreamcatcher. One of you rescue you may add a card into your deck, as well as Tiny Chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. Do I want to skip this as well? Because it might uh, not allow me to get enough curses. So, yeah, uh, I will skip this. But I also got Entropic Brew. Fill your... Uh, yeah, Entropic Brew is great with five empty uh, potion slots. And then another Impervious seems like a good idea. All right. Okay, Shell Press and Fungi Beast. Um, where is the feed not showing up? Well, in two turns I'll have it. Um, I think I'll do Pummel here, right? I could do Bludgeon, but no, I think I'll do Shockwave and then Pummel. Okay. Alright. Almost full of Defender, right? Losing one HP, which is fine. I actually do want to lose a little bit more to trigger Red Skull again. Uh, I could just do Bludgeon here again, right? Uh, Bludgeon is not enough to kill, but this should allow me to kill with the feed. Is the feed coming up next turn? No, in two turns, alright? Okay. Alright, another 8 uh, here. Let's do Metallicize Uppercut. Okay, I do want to lose more HP. Oh, never mind, I didn't lose any HP here. Because I will heal back up and I would like to be below half uh, 50%. Here I can kill with the feed. Wait, can I exhume the feed? Do I have an exhume coming up? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do uh, let's do Offering. Actually, I think I'll even do Berserk. Uh, no, let's do Impervious. I think I should be... Uh, yeah, I should be fine with the uh, HP once I heal back up. And here I can exhume... Oh, no, I forgot about the exhuming the feed that heals me back up, too. Yeah, fine. All right, Burning Pact, Intimidated Wall Strike. Burning Pact might be useful. I am lacking energy, but I think at this point, card draw is more important. All right, well, this fight, I don't have to try hard to lose HP. Uh, so, yeah, let's just do Corruption, Brutality, and uh, well, at least I'm going to drop down a lot of HP, which is fine. Okay. All right, another 21. I can fully defend with the Impervious... Um, the feed is coming up, but not very soon. I think I'll do Fiendfire here. Yeah, I think that's better. Come. Okay. All right, lose a bunch more HP. Come. Okay. All right. And then 22. Uh, feed is showing up next turn. Uh, Pummel will kill, right? Uh, so I think I'll do... I'll do Limit Break, then Thunderclap. And then let's do Berserk. And then next turn, I think I should be able to kill with the feed, even if I'm weakened, right? Because I have 8 strength already. Yes, beautiful. All right. Okay, Armin's Pummel Strike or Heavy Blade. I wonder. I do have a lot of strength sometimes, especially with the Shuriken too, right? Armin's might be better, though. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's take the Heavy Blade. All right. 
All right, Book of Stabbing here. 12 incoming. I do have weakness, so I actually shock with is good too. Let's start with the offering first, though. Yeah, there's the barricade as well, which is really tempting. I think I'll do barricade and then shockwave. The extra turns of weakness will be very useful. Okay. And having a barricade, is there imp uh, impervious is coming up? Not next turn, but the turn after. That might be a problem, right? Because I have 15 incoming and not enough to defend against. Oh boy. Anything I can head, but not really. Well, nothing useful. Um, Let me see what the entropy brew gives me. Because if it gives me anything that allows me to draw, I guess I can... Oh, wow. Can I do Dark Embrace, then Pummel? No, that's not enough. How do I do this? Power Potion? Or should I just save the potions for the boss fight? Yeah, I think I'll accept the damage, just because I also don't think there's a good way for me to perfect. So, yeah, fine. Um, I'll double tap the Pummel. Okay. And then I'll Headbutt. Uh, let's Headbutt, what? Uppercut, sure. Okay. All right, another 12 uh, here. I could do Im uh, Impervious. Let's do that. And then Burning Pack, the Brutality, because I don't think I'll need it. Ah, there's the Corruption. Yeah, I need... Really, the problem is I need to get the Corruption as early as possible. That's sort of what I need. Um, let's do another Impervious Headbutt. And I think the Bludgeon should be enough to kill next turn, right? Bludgeon with a little bit extra. No, actually, did I... Wait, I should also try to use the Feed here, right? 1737. Yeah, the Bludgeon is enough. Uh, without the Bludgeon... Wait, 2917. Yeah, this is enough, too. Beautiful. All right, we got the boot. Whenever you do a four less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as Centennia Puzzle. The first time, lose HP each combat, draw three cards. A block potion, which I'll take over the Smoke Bomb. And then Pummel Feeder, Infernal Blade. A second feed is not a bad idea. Let's take it. Okay. All right, Centurion Gun. This, I already lost HP, and I got, I'm pretty sure I got combo and overkill, so I don't think I need to delay this further. Uh, let's double tap the Emulate, I think. Or, uh, no, double tap Emulate is better than Thunder Clapping the Emulate. Okay. All right, almost fully defended here, and I just need 24 damage. Ooh, I should try to use the feed. Uh, wait, 16 plus 14, that is enough. Beautiful. All right, uh, perfect the strike, wild strikes for boomerang. I already have a wild strike, so let's take a second wild strike. And then here, should I rest to get another card reward? Because I honestly don't think I'll upgrade anything. Yeah, let's rest to get, oh, but then I'll heal back up, and I won't be able to use the uh, extra, gain the extra strength from Red Skull. So yeah, let's, let's uh, upgrade something. I think I'll upgrade the, uh, I still, yeah, let's upgrade the, ah, Dark Embrace becomes cheaper too, right? Oh boy, what should I upgrade? Let's upgrade the Brutality, how about that? The extra strength each turn, or uh, the extra card draw each turn might be useful. Alright, uh, so here let's do Brutality, and I guess I'll just do Bludgeon? Let me see if the Power Potion gives me something. Metal says Feel No Pain and Flame. Feel No Pain might be really useful, let's take that. And then uh, I also have the Elixir Potions with the Field of Pain that might give me Emergency Block. Should I do Demon Form? Next turn I have the Impervious, which is useful. Yeah, I think this run is going to take a while. So let's do Demon Form and not do Bludgeon and hope that the extra strength will become useful. Um, Alright, so here I should do Corruption, right? I don't have the Barricade active, right? Where is the Barricade? Uh, it's very low in the mid deck, which is unfortunate. Havoc will play a headbutt. Uh, let's do upper, or, uh, limit break first. Then Havoc, the headbutt, which allows me to put back, what, bludgeon? Feed? Thunderclap? Let's take the feed because I exhaust. And then I'll do the unupgraded impervious. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this means the backliner is guaranteed to attack me next turn. Yeah, quite a bit too. Uh, okay, so... What can I exhume? Uh, I could exhume the impervious. That seems like a good idea. I think I'll do that. Let's exhume the Impervious. All right. So I need 41, and I have enough. All right, awesome. So then I can also do the Fiend Fire. Uh, let's do... Wow. Uh, right, I have extra strength. Let's do Pummel here for 80 damage. And then should I do Cleave? Kills one of the minions. Yeah, let's do Cleave and Feed. That way I'll kill both minions rather than Fiend Fire, which would only kill one minion. Okay. All right, not being attacked here. Where is that Barricade? Uh, next turn. All right, uh, let's do Shockwave. Double tap emulate, I guess. Yeah, let's double... Actually, heavy blade is much better. Let's double tap the heavy blade. Oh, that's enough to kill. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Very happy with that. Got a little lucky with the attack pattern, I have to admit. Limit break, impervious, or berserk. I think I had two impervious, right? Yeah, let's take a third one. Okay. And then here, there is Neko. I think I should take it. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. So I should come with Confused now. Of course, if I knew I was going to get Neko, I wouldn't have upgraded the... Um, uh, what did I upgrade here? The Brutality, that's something I probably should have, because uh, I was hoping to get Sneko, and yeah, I definitely shouldn't have upgraded the Brutality, but fine. 
There's a two lead path. If I go to the left, I'll get one, two, three question mark rooms. Second from the left gives me one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. Good. The right side gives me one, two, three, four, five as well. And far right is the same thing, right? Okay, so if I go to the left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five, and a shop. All right. If I go to the right, I'll get an earlier shop. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think it's better to have more question mark rooms earlier on. So I go on the left, mostly because that increases the chance of getting the two normality event. All right. Also, yeah, I need a shop, right? Because I have plenty of gold to spend. Okay, a free bludgeon is always nice. I think I'll do corruption for sure. Let's do brutality. Havoc will play a hemokinesis, which is fine. All right. Then do uh, bludgeon uh, you, pummel you, and metallicize. Okay. I do want to lose HP, right? So actually, maybe this is the right time to uh, speed this up and lose a lot of HP so I can trigger the Red Skull. Uh, or I could also do Juggernaut just for fun. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, get rid of the barricade. Yeah, I think it, this is going to get a little boring, so I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Okay, I know I wanted to lose HP, but it's much more convenient to kill with the feed here because that way I'll get max HP. Awesome. All right, we got the liquid bonds push. I probably don't need two elixirs. Let's get rid of one of them. Headbutt, feel no pain, or clash. Feel no pain is really nice. I know I need to take another headbutt to get a collector bonus, though. Yeah, it's a shame because feel no pain would have been great, but let's get 25 points. All right, or Barker. I don't think I can use the feet here, right? Uh, let's do brutality, heavy blade. Uh, might as well do metallicize, wild strike, and feed. Okay. All right, almost fully defended thanks to the Urkalkum. Okay, so here, do I have, when is the other feed showing up? Uh, next turn, okay. So can I get it close to death but not actually kill? Uh, yes, if I do emulate and then shockwave, okay. All right, that way next turn I'll have the feed, uh, which would give me three more max HP. Awesome. All right, 109, we got uh, Wild Strike Infernal Blade, True Grid. I already have two Wild Strikes, right? Yeah, let's take a third one, okay. And then here, oof, I hate to lose any of these. This makes me lose a collector bonus. Corruption is too amazing to lose, so I guess I'll reluctantly lose the Havoc, which is a shame. And then here, I got the Jaw Worms. Uh, let's see. Juggernaut Barricade is free. That's good. Actually, no, maybe this is where I lose HP. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, let me exhume the feed, uh, the, the headbutt, I mean. Sorry, the <laughs> well, the limit break. That's why I actually exhumed. And then let's headbutt, wild strike, and I'll, I'll do brutality too. And yeah, let's just take these ones scale very quickly. So I think I'll just accept a lot of damage from them. All right. Yep. This looks like a good turn. Uh, let's do demon form, hemokinesis to take even more damage. And then emulate will kill, but I'll wait. Okay. Ideally, I would also use the feed twice, three times maybe with the exhume. I didn't play the exhume. Oh no, I already exhumed something. That's fine. All right, where are the feats coming up? Uh, yep, they're both coming up in two turns. All right, let's do Shockwave here. Uh, I'll do Berserk to take more damage this turn. And wait, okay. All right, I already have plenty of strength. And I need to drop down to probably like uh, 40, the 40s. That might be good. All right, there is one feed. Uh, I can use that to kill uh, you. And then let's do Corruption as well. Actually, I could do Offering and play the other feed too, right? Yeah, why not? That way I'll also lose HP. So let's double tap the other feed. All right. And then, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait for this one to deal a little bit more damage, and then I'll try to kill it. Actually, if I get another exhume. Yeah, there's another exhume coming up. I could try to feed with it. Uh, yeah, let's do demon form and wait. Okay, I should have done combust too. That would have dealt damage back to me. Okay. 54 is not enough, and I think I, I will. Yeah, I have the exhume here, which is fine. Yeah, it's more important to feed, I think, than to uh, lose HP. Got an explosive push, which I'll probably take over the liquid bronze, and then carnage cleaver wild strike. That's a collector bonus on the wild strike. Okay, I got. I have to admit, I got a little lucky on the collector bonuses so far. Curse number two, a little risky because, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's possible to get the normality events, but theoretically possible to get enough curses. So, yeah, fine, I'll take it. Should I take the madnesses instead because they will make me lose HP and get me closer to fifty cards? Uh, let me, so right now I only have one curse. This would have been a second curse, but I think I'll go with the madnesses. Yeah, I'll lose HP, I'll get two madnesses. And uh, yeah, I'm at 40 cards, and I need to clean up the upcoming shop. Uh, so here I can't apply vulnerability, but actually I do have vulnerability with a fear push. Let's use that. Then double tap the bludgeon for a lot of damage. Then do pummel for even more damage. Or no, I have to do impervious to be fully defended. All right. And then I have to choose between Pummel and Headbutt. I think Pummel is more damage, right? Let's just do Pummel. 
actually almost enough to kill. And because of the boot, I should be able to kill next turn once I draw the feed, right? Yeah, and there's the feed coming up. Let's do corruption and wait. Yep. I could have done burning pack and the feed, but I think this is fine. All right. Yep, there is the feed. Beautiful. Okay, we got meal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP and Sharon's Ashes. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal 3 damage to all enemies, which is great. Spot weakness, Kalotha, and Kumbasa. So my final boss, by the way, Time Eater. All right. Uh, so extra strength is always nice. I don't, I'm not a big fan of any of these. Let's take the Kalotha because I think the weakness might be more important to try to perfect the, the upcoming boss. All right, there is an Exhume. That's a little too early for the Exhume. Um, I think I'll do Bludgeon, uh, Wild Strike, Headbutt the Bludgeon. And, uh, and I guess I'll wait. All right. Again, I do want to lose some HP here, right? Okay. Uh, so here, emulate is nice. Do I have a feed coming up? I do have a feed coming up next turn. All right, fine. Again, for the sake of the feed, I'll do emulate here, uh, bludgeon, and then I should be able to kill this one with the feed next turn. Okay. And, uh, yep, there it is. Okay, yeah, again, max HP is worth it. Okay, I got my gold back, Seeing Red Warcry, or Perfect the Strike. Definitely on this. Between these, I mean, this exhaust, this gives me card draw potential. Let's take the Warcry. Not a huge fan of any of them. All right. A duplication push is good. I will get rid of this and this. Let's take the Skill and Essence of Steel potions, too. Okay. Yeah, I got Bob Bank. One of you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works to spend any gold at a shop. Unfortunate, because I do have my only shop coming up in a bit. All right, Transient. This should be easy. Uh, here, I want to lose HP, right? Yeah, let's just take the 30 damage I have coming up. Yeah, I'll do Brutality too. Why not? Yeah, it's an easy way to lose HP, right? Good. And then, uh, since I don't need to lose HP anymore, I can just move on. Uh, let's do Metallicize for a good measure too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Another 37. Um, I think... Well, actually, I do need to deal damage. Hang on. Uh, let's do Dark Embrace Limit Break. Okay. Uh, corruption is great. All right, I can do Madness 1, Madness 2. I was really hoping it would, one of them would hit the uppercut. Uh, let's do Cleave and um, uh, here. I think I'll do... I should have double tapped the Cleave. That was silly. Yeah, because now I have to do the, the, do the offering, which is fine. Uh, let's do... Actually, no, I can't do Juggernaut, right? Yeah, let's double tap the Heavy Blade. All right. Actually, I should have exhumed the uh, Limit Break. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. There's no reason to waste time here. Um, I don't think I can kill, and I, I don't get extra points for killing, so no no point in trying. Uh, so here, let's do Spot Weakness Impervious, and uh, let's just do another Impervious and wait. Okay. Could have played a few other cards, but I'm pretty confident I should be able to have no trouble here whatsoever. Um, especially if I can double tap the Carnage. Beautiful. All right. Okay, no reason to waste time. I'm already at 38 minutes, so it might be hard to do in less than 45. Um, whirlwind Headbutt or Thunderclap. I already have four Headbutts, right? Okay, that's the fifth one offered. I don't think I need that. Let's take the Thunderclap. And then here I have to buy everything, right? So let's take the Ancient T set. One of you enter a rest size Saturnite Combo with two extra energy. I have to click on that. Broad Scale Saturnite Combo with three Thorns. And Abacus, one of you shuffle drop on against six blocks. It's a very useless relic, but I'll take it. Then uh, buy all of these here. And then I can also take Panacea. Actually, can I afford both of them? Panacea and Mayhem? Yes, barely. Okay, I have exactly 50 cards. Beautiful. All right. I guess I didn't need to get to 50 cards because I, I still have a few card, more card doors coming up, but still. Um, all right, so here let's start off with Berserk Offering. Okay. I am hoping... Let's do Corruption here. Burning Pack, get rid of the Mayhem. I don't think I need that. All right. So, uh, can I use feed and then... Wait, uh, let's do madness, okay. Then feed. And then exhume the feed. Can I kill this one with it? Um, let's try this. So, if I do uppercut, then feed, that will be enough, right? Feed alone is not enough. Right? Let's do uppercut, then feed. Okay. And then I'll do pummel. Beautiful. Got an energy push, which I don't think I'll take. Fiend fire, burning pack, thunderclap. I already have two thunderclaps, so I guess I'll take a third one. All right. And then here, I, yeah, I am less than half HP, which is good. Um, I guess, I mean, I don't need to use the feed more, but I wouldn't mind losing more max HP if I can. Or more more actual HP, I mean. Um, let's do Mayhem. I think this is fine. Yep. Mayhem, I have to be a little careful with because I do have Berserk. So against the boss, I might not play that as uh, easily as I did here. All right, there's a free Impervious. That's good. Let's do Berserk here after all because I have another Impervious. 
And then I can just do cleave. Okay. And ideally, I mean, yeah, I don't need to use the feed, but uh, if I get it offered, I might as well try to play it. Uh, that was a Darken Race, which is great. Metallicize. Let's do Warcry. All right. There's Thunderclap. And then Hemokinesis. Uh, you. Okay. And I don't think I'll do Headbutt just because I do want to lose more HP. Oh, never mind. With our Kalkum, I'm actually, actually not losing any HP. That's a bummer. All right, fine. Let's just kill with the feet here. All right. Got Nation Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Twin Strike Duel will shrug it off. A shrug it off might be a good defensive card. Let's grab that. And then here I got the Reptomancer. Um, yeah, I have Pummel Thunderclap. Let's do Inflame and Brutality first because they're free. Thunderclap is not enough. I am fully defended against one of them, so as long as I kill the other one with the Pummel, I should be fine, right? Yeah, actually, what I, th what I think what I'll do is um, I'll do Feed. That kills this one, and then Pummel. So much damage, 55 damage. Yeah, let's Pummel this one. All right, and I hope I get an Emulate or something next turn. All right. Uh, oh, there's a Thunderclap. That's fine. There's also a Corruption that I think I'll play. Let's do Corruption, Thunderclap, Impervious. I can also do... Actually, as long as I exhaust something, Second Wind is fine. Yeah, let's do Barricade, Second Wind. That kills both minions? No, just one. Which is fine. This one will die in my thorns. And then let's headbutt, uh, shrug it off. Sure. Okay. All right. And yeah, I think I should be fully defended here, right? Let's do Panacea, Madness, Limit Break, shrug it off. Up. Oh, Darker Race is really good. And then do Uppercut, Impervious, Wild Strike. And then, yeah, that's enough to kill. Beautiful. You got all these smooth stones. So I should come with one dexterity. So as I can be your first attack each combat is eight additional damage. Armaments, blood for blood or cleave. I don't have a collector on any of them. Let's take the armaments. And then can I finish in less than three minutes? Uh, let's upgrade the... Not the Dark Race. What do I want to upgrade here? Um, I can't think of anything good to upgrade. Let's upgrade the second wind, I guess. Gives me more block, sure. Also have a good set of potions. Hopefully they'll help. All right, 21 incoming. Let's drink the Essence of Steel first. And no way to defend on turn 1. That is disappointing. Um, so 6 plus 9 is 15. Weakness would be great. I don't have any. Actually, no, never mind. I have Clothline. Right, so that way I'm fully defended. Uh, should I headbutt the Clothline? Let's do Wall Strike. I should have done Thunderclap first. Then headbutt the Clothline. Okay. And then I'll do another headbutt. Uh, that was a mistake. I probably shouldn't have headbutted that many things. All right. Two minutes. This might be tough. Okay. All right, nineteen. Darker races are really tempting, but it will cost cost all of my energy, which is not ideal. Do I have something else? I could do shrug it off. Nine plus nine is eighteen. That's not quite enough. Double play it, I guess. Yeah, this is tough. I will do mayhem here. What is shrug it off going to give me? Uppercut. I mean, as long oh, the enemy is already weakened, right? I think I have to use the strength potion here. Or let's use the duplication potion, I guess. Uh, sorry, not strength. I meant the block potion. All right, there's a free offering. That should allow me to play three more cards, right? Uh, two more cards, I mean. So let's do... Where's the barricade kit coming up? Uh, not soon, which is unfortunate. Uh, so let's do uh, a war cry. Put, uh, I don't know, dark embrace back. Hoping that I can play that. And then do uppercut. Come. Okay. All right. Okay, AT, this is with weakness, but luckily there is a Dark Embrace here. That's good. And then, uh, yeah, there's, again, not much I can do. Let me see what the skill potion gives me. Disarm is really nice. Offering might be better, though. Uh, no, I think I'll do Disarm here. All right. Then uh, Thunderclap, Headbutt, what? Uh, let's Headbutt in Purvis, although I'm pretty sure I should be able to. Yeah, I'll draw it with the Dropkick. Uh, did I mess up? No, I'm fully defended still, right? Okay. Yeah, thanks to the Oracle. Yeah, I don't think I'll finish this in 45. This is, this one is a bit of a thinker. Okay, I'm not being attacked. And I think I should be able to transform fairly easily here. Let's do Corruption. And then uh, Double Tap Fiendfire would draw me a full hand. Let's do that. Oh, where's the Barricade? I would draw it next... No, I don't think I'll draw it next turn. Yeah, let's do Fiendfire here. Oh, it's played twice. Okay, so then I'll actually exhaust the Barricade. Actually, wait, can I kill here? I did not realize. Wow, five seconds over. If only I didn't waste five seconds somewhere. Ah, that's a shame. I did really well though. 1333, that's not too bad. So after the uh, seven elites, I perfected five of them. I think I missed one on act one and one on act uh, 
too, right? Yeah, the slaver side just had no chance against it. Uh, got beyond perfect. I did get combos. I'm very happy with that. I got just got really lucky. I think I got like two offerings and a bunch of with the corruption, a bunch of skills. So I got really lucky there. Overkill was fairly doable. Two collector bonuses were just somewhat lucky, admittedly. I saw a bunch of headbutts and uh, exactly four wild strikes. So I'm very happy with that as well. Missed the machine just barely. So the only thing I missed is five seconds playing faster, of course. And then I got stuffed in sick of the end. Uh, and of course, getting more elites and more um, collector bonuses. That one would be a little lucky. But yeah, five seconds would give me 1558. Uh, 30, uh, 1358, sorry. So 1358 would have put me in 13th place. Vorpal got another 50 points on top of that. So I wonder if Vorpal was able to perfect all the elites. That would explain it. I, I think the big thing is... Wait, I didn't get that shiny, didn't I? Yeah, that's the other thing. So I only had one shop. I d admittedly, I did buy everything in that shop, literally everything, all the cards and uh, relics. But uh, maybe going for an earlier shop would have allowed me to get I like shiny too. Yeah, and actually, I mean, in retrospect, I know that I didn't get curses. So if I didn't have curses, uh, if I knew that I was not going to get curses, I would have taken the uh, tiny chest as well as the Omori. That would have given me three relics, right? I think that would guarantee me uh, the Alex Shiny modifier too. So yeah, that could explain. So either perfecting more elites or getting Alex Shiny for Warpal. Uh, but yeah, that's a great score. I'm very... Wait, where is my actual score? Yeah, I'm 22nd right now, and I'm sure I'll drop down even further later on. But I'm not too unhappy with this. This is a pretty decent score. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was an ironclad run with the insanity, flight, and binary modifiers, and most people did really well, including myself. A few people died, though, so Pelts ended up with 1665. That's a great score. Pelts was able to protect most of the elites, got all the bosses, got three collective bonuses, which is, I think, the most anybody was able to get yesterday. Also, very impressively, Pelts went for Popper, which I think nobody else did, and it was really difficult to do without rare cards. I think the only way I perfect everything is thanks to the um, barricade that I had. Uh, but yeah, Pelts actually did have a bludgeon, one rare card that he removed with Peace Pipe on Act 3. Uh, but yeah, that's really, that's extra impressive that he was able to pull off perfecting everything, or almost everything, with uh, without a rare card. So yeah, congratulations for Pelts for a great score. Then you have me here with 1515. I perfected 6 of the 10 leads. Oh, uh, I should mention, almost everybody got uh, things like Overkill, uh, Insigabdian, Curses, and all that. So I'm not even going to mention that, because um, everybody got that. Uh, then yeah, I have 1515 here, 6 out of 10 elites, 3 bosses, all the bosses, 1 collector bonus, um, I end up, of course, everybody got curses, I end up with 10 curses, which I think David got 11 curses, that seems like a reasonable number, I think most people got around the same number of curses there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I uh, Ole actually pointed out that I should have removed a useless perfected strike, I had like 3 removal or transformation opportunities, and I just constantly was struggling to figure out what to remove, even though like earlier I said I need to remove the, uh, the perfected strike, because I got that from a Pandora's box, meaning I barely had any strike cards left in my deck so yeah that was something i should have uh, realized but still decent score then you have david here with 1488 uh, you can check out his twitch stream david perfected seven of the ten elites uh, missed the act one boss uh, which is a shame uh, so it was a little close but wasn't able to perfect that one got one collector bonus and uh yeah was able to get curses and overkill of course as every as everybody else did as well and then uh, what david called the run yesterday was a ma masochist clad not the iron clad because he had rupture as well as uh, duplicated paints uh, which allowed him to gain a lot of strength by uh, inflicting damage to himself he also brought brimstone at the end which is uh, really impressive and he was able to perfect the last boss as well all right and then we have Ryder here barely making it to 100 with 1384 uh, a few people are tied at 1390 90 exactly missing the top 100 including goldberry vorpal and malazan so goldberry uh, also missed the act two boss uh, so missed one boss the act two boss specifically just had some bad luck with the card draw um and then goldberry didn't even try hand letter because after some uh, some days with bad experiences he uh, from the beginning committed to collective bonus but unfortunately didn't get a single collective bonus which is a shame uh, and then Malzahn perfected 5 of 10, 10 elites, also missed the Act 2 boss, actually reloaded that one a lot, but there's nothing that he could do, uh, was unable to defend either on act uh, on uh, turn 3 or turn 4. And then uh, I think I got Barricade from a potion against the Act 2 boss, that's what Malzahn needed to perfect that one too, and he didn't get that. Uh, after that, once he was able to bottle the Barricade, he uh, actually had no trouble with the Act 3 boss, so yeah, Barricade does make a big difference. And then just like me, Malzahn also took the Pandora's box, but was wondering if maybe taking an Energy Relic would have been smarter yesterday uh, but yeah hard hard to say uh, at least Malzahn enjoyed the run it was a fun run with a bunch of curses 
Then you have a few people who died. So uh, Super Nintendo, for example, died yesterday to the Reptomancer. He actually, at uh, the beginning of Act 3, decided to pivot towards the Highlander modifier. And I actually think that's a great idea because, uh, yeah, you had Peace Pipe yesterday. So you were able to remove some duplicates. Um, he also tried to put pivot to Popper. And I think he thinks that was the big uh, issue yesterday with him not being able to survive. Because uh, the Barricade definitely helped me. Um, although, admittedly, Pelts was able to survive without the red cards. But, uh, yeah, still, uh, that's a shame for Super Nintendo. And then Steven also died yesterday to the Grum Knob on Act 1. I think a lot of people might have died yesterday on Act 1 because it wasn't easy getting out of Act 1. Once you're out of Act 1, it, things got a little easier. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.